what uh, what appealed to you, uh, to you about Ryzen? Um, honestly, a lot of things. Um, <laughs> I've known for a while that they're pretty pretty good franchise in the USL. Um, I didn't watch USL much in prior years, but more often than not, I would see that Phoenix Rising, for one thing, had not only were they a pretty good team, but they had a pretty strong fan base. Um, and that's something I respect a lot. You know, obviously, I like being in environments where the people care about how the team performs. So a lot of things uh, appeal to me, but I'm definitely excited to be here and just take part in all of it. Obviously, when you've got 20 or whatever new faces it is in, yeah. um, you know, it's difficult to have cohesion from the previous season. I mean, what's kind of the strategy here for attacking that and building that before the opener in a month or so? Yeah, I think, I think the main thing is just taking it day by day. Um, I'm obviously part of the, the new guys as well, and I think the most important thing is just getting to understand each other, both on and off the field. Um, the chemistry as far as, you know, the tactics and the sharpness of certain things, that will come with time. Um, but I think it's just getting to know each other, obviously getting comfortable with each other. But yeah, just taking it day by day. So when you first spoke to Juan, <coughs> what was the vision that he sold you on for this club? Um, one of the main things was obviously a cohesion within the group, um, a family type atmosphere. Uh, you know, I think the most successful teams, they have to have a pretty tight knit bond with each other. Um, and that's something that he's always preached. Um, he still preaches it now, obviously protect your, your brother as he calls it. Um, but I think that's important because you obviously have to, you know, have each other's back to be able to go through whatever adversity that's going to come throughout the season. How clear has the philosophy been from day one? Uh, very clear, very, very clear. Um, honestly, prior to day one, we had like a meeting with like all the owners and everything. Um, that spoke a lot to, like I said, the cohesion within just not us on the field, but the whole club in general. Um, so yeah, very, very clear. And like I said, it's it's the most important thing for a successful team. And there's plenty of right backs in your kind of areas. There have been talks about how many right backs there are. If guys are going to play as a center back or maybe even in the pocket as a 10. Um, I mean, not. I haven't. I personally haven't heard anything specific about that. Um, but yeah, I do know for sure. Not just right backs, but every position. There's multiple people, more multiple people who can play and do the job very, very well. So that also helps with the competition in the group. And like I said, ultimately, it all makes the team better. You said the philosophy was clear from the beginning. Well, what is that philosophy? Um, like I said earlier, uh, just a cohesion within the group. Um, everybody from top to bottom, ownership. Uh, staff, coaching staff themselves, but also staff in the front office, and then obviously the players. Um, everybody has to be together in order for us to reach a common goal. So, like I said, yeah, very, very, very clear from day one. So more of an ideological philosophy rather than like tactical? Um, I mean, I would say it honestly is a little bit of both because the cohesion obviously has to contribute to the tactical piece as well on the field. Um, so yeah, I would say it contributes to pretty much all aspects. Having a cohesion, having a bond with each other, I think that's one of the most important things.